Yo guys, what is up? BK Seeker here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make something similar to this. A motion track that looks like it belongs in the scene. And, uh, looks like it, uh, has a shadow underneath it, so it looks like it's actually sitting on the ground. You can use a shadow on walls and stuff, I've used that in uh, another edit before. I was actually using it on this motion track to create text there. However... I tried to do something and it crashed and didn't save and corrupted the file. So this is an older file that I found. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go with this basic one here. So let's delete these two here. Boom. So we just have the this here. We don't even need these two here. Uh, we just have the actual footage and then we have the track layers because I've kept the tracking so basically I tracked with camera tracker by the foundry great plugin I find a lot of use for that and you know I, I enjoy this plugin because I'm only on uh, in AE 5.5 not 6 or anything or CC so I don't have it built in so this is fine for me but Basically, you need it some points tracked and then to create a scene, and yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer, new text, and you're going to put tutorial. Right, okay, let's not do that, yeah. And just do that. Now I'm just going to put the quality in quarter, just so After Effects runs a bit quicker. I'm going to go layer, new. Uh, da, 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 solid and okay, black is fine, doesn't really matter. Effect video copilot element. So we're gonna have element 3D. I'm gonna come to custom layers, path layer one is going to be your text, so a tutorial, custom texture maps, and you want the layer that is your footage, so here number six is my footage that is all in line. So this is my footage in the background. And I'm get rid of that and go to scene setup. Then we're gonna extrude it. So this is the text that we are extruding. I will just take a second, right? Then we're gonna add a material. So these are pro shaders materials that I paid for, about sixty quid if you are interested in it. So I've added this kind of metally grunge texture. And then we're gonna go to environment. Add this now. Watch here. Watch the text. Boom. So it takes on the texture in the reflection, and it gives it a flat red from the uh, map. Um, I'm gonna click OK. Just I could have done the next part there at the time, but to make things less confusing, we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna go to particular look and take the size down. Put it where we want doesn't really matter, um, as I say, I'm only doing one frame in this, I'm not worrying about like actually making it a motion track. Um, so once you have it where you want, maybe rotate it a bit, whatever. In fact, I could do with rotating that a bit on the, not Z, damn it, of course I got that wrong. Not that either, yeah, just here. I think just so uh, it looks more like it's in the, ground and stuff and then position that again a bit more maybe actually correct that a little bit and boom whatever then we're going to go to multi object because this makes it so much better rotation random and rotate it a bit so it kind of gives off a cool effect then we can get rid of group 1 we're going to go to render settings ambient inclusion SSAO and enable it and then take it up to 10 which already creates like a shadow effect inside the text then we can get rid of that we're going to, go to scene setup again just wait for it to load this alright it's still loading the model though right kind of done it 
primitive. Let's get a plane in there. Let's just add a random texture to it for now. Let's put it in group two. So make sure. So I've got only got number two selected there. This will load in. You can kind of see it. Go to group two. Particular look and a replicator. And then let's rotate it quickly on the x axis. Um, and then you want to kind of position it right so it's in the middle sort of and down just so you clips off a bit of the bottom text um, I think that will be okay for now let's try and get that more in the center in fact that didn't work right and then let's size it up a lot because that's what you need to do right about there is good and go back into scene cell Make sure you've got your plane selected. Uh, you should see it in a second when it loads. There we go. You need to go to materials. So these are the default materials. Matte shadow. Okay. And you'll have a shadow there. So if we go to full quality. And boom. There you go. You have a shadow. It looks like it's in the whole footage. And see if it's not exactly how you wanted it. You can always tweak things really easily, like in group two. If I wanted more of it in the ground, I can just raise on the position how far I want it in. Like the ground is literally eating it, and it all looks the same. Um, so, yeah, that's honestly as easy as it is. And as I say, I'm not going to make it look like a proper motion track today but you can perfect it as you want and basically just make sure the shadow follows the motion track um, by keyframing its positions and that's it you don't have to be picky with it or anything and uh, as I say get pro, pro shaders if you want to come out with an effect like this I guess because of the actual textures are really nice um, but using the render settings ambient inclusion which makes it everything um, without the ambient inclusion you don't get the shadow in the first place and it just creates that massive depth to it and you can play about things but I like the default just to keep it safe um, but yeah so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this has become some use for your edits and whatnot um, was keeping this on the low but a lot of people do it and I thought you know what let's get this out there so uh, hey guys hope you enjoyed peace out